Hello and welcome to the Beauty Know It All. I vlogged about retinol about a month ago and it was really popular and it started a really good discussion about explaining the science behind skincare. So vitamin A, retinol out the way, let's move on to vitamin C. It's another right royal member of the anti-aging skin brightening family. So along with um, vitamin A, which is retinols, there's vitamin C and it really does deserve a place right up there next to vitamin A as being great for your skin. Firstly, because it's an antioxidant and I don't know if you know what an antioxidant is, but essentially um, the day-to-day -day stresses of life on your skin, so pollution, sunshine, stress, maybe a poor diet, maybe ill health, it does something called it oxidizes skin, which if you think about it, it's a little bit like rusting. If you think you put a piece of metal outside in the, the rain and the oxygen, then slowly it starts to change color and rust. Some of them turn brown, some of them turn green, and that's a process of oxidation. And that's essentially what happens to every cell in your body every single day. But luckily enough, we have things called antioxidants, and antioxidants stop that um, process. If you think when you make guacamole and you, um, you cut open an avocado and it's brown and then uh, the reason if you put lime juice on it or lemon juice on it, it stops that process. It's the same with potatoes as well. And that's the process of oxidization and the active ingredient in lemons and limes and oranges, oranges are, is vitamin C, uh, which technically is called ascorbic acid. So if you're looking for it in skincare, look for something called L-ascorbic acid. That's the gold standard vitamin C. Um, and it's the one that has the most research behind it. But if you look for anything with ascorbate bait or ascorbic, the ascorb bit, if you look at the ingredients list, is the vitamin C. Now, that's the first thing. The second thing is we know it's good for our skin. We know it's good for our skin in a whole host of percentages. It's been proven to work to protect your skin in as little as 0.6%, which is roughly half a percent, just over half a percent. But if you're going to be serious about anti-aging and you want it to brighten your skin and you want it to tackle sun damage, it needs to be in much higher percentages and it needs to have that percentage clearly written on the outside, just as I said with retinols, except with vitamin C, it's substantially higher. You need to be looking for, for all over radiance, a minimum of 10 or 15%, for serious targeted age spot reduction, you need a percentage of roughly 20% or higher because it's 20% or higher when it's been clinically proven to actually target age spots. And I've been treating one on my neck and some on the side of my face. In fact, what I've been doing is putting all of my favorite ascorbic acid, vitamin C serums and potions and scrubs to the test just for you. So I'm gonna rattle through them, okay? And I want to start, I'm gonna actually start with some at around 15%, which is when they start to become quite interesting, I think in terms of not all over radiance, but in terms of tackling specific problems. And we're gonna start with something that I've been using quite a lot of at the moment, which is the ZO Skin Health, and that's the C Bright Serum, and that's 10% vitamin C. And it's, a lot of them you'll find are quite silicony, quite oily, very few of them are water-based and there's a reason for that and that's because vitamin C, just like vitamin A, is highly unstable so it needs to ideally come in an airtight, watertight, light-tight container like this which is basically a pump action. So basically it's totally sealed and it comes out like that. Now. This is the thing about vitamin C. When I first wrote about it for The Ordinary, because I've been using their 23% vitamin C, lots of people said, well, but you've told me to use it at night, and I've always been told to use vitamin C during the day, and here's the rule. Vitamin C is brilliant during the day at low concentrations because it essentially works as a barrier between you and the outside world. So if you think about it in terms of, sorry, my cat's here, <laughs> meowing in the background. If you think about it in terms of boosting SPF, boosting sun protection, boosting pollution protection, but it needs to be at relatively low levels to do that because you need to be able to put it on your face every single day. And to do that, it has to be at low levels because the minute it starts getting at high levels, it's gonna be in quite a gritty, oily, silicony texture, which is best used at night. So if you're looking at it one, two, three percent, it's brilliant. Every single day you can put it on your face, you can find it mixed in a whole host of serums that are great that you use preventatively, protectively, protectively every single day. 
but if for it to be clinically active on your skin at night to correct sun damage and to reverse sun damage and to brighten your skin and to get rid of age spots it needs to be 10% and above and that's when you'll start to find that the formulation will change and it will become just like the ordinary one which is 23% gritty greasy not particularly pleasant to use very efficacious but best used on its own at night which is exactly what this is like this technically could be used during the day on its own it's um it's a sort of silicon based it's quite a rich serum and i can feel i can already feel as usual with most vitamin c products it's got a very slight gritty texture to it but it's got a quite a nice velvety texture that sort of disappears and that's because it's in a silicon base so it's got a slip to it that's what silicon does it gives product to sip a slip which if you are using it under makeup which you technically could every single day if you want to go for a high percentage of vitamin c and this is 10 percent then what you'll have to be careful of is if you put makeup on top of these things with silicon and they tend to roll and pill which is why i essentially would use it at night um or i would use it on my neck and chest during the day but if you use something with a high level of vitamin c in during the day it's going to oxidize because the minute it touches the air and the sunlight and water in the atmosphere it'll oxidize which means it's not going to really penetrate your skin brilliant because it'll oxidize in place of your skin but really at high percentages you need to use it at night and i would say the minute you get to 10 percent and above it's a nighttime product so that's one of my first ones other things i've liked is i've also used the pericone vitamin c ester overnight now this comes in a box of tiny tubes again there's one simple reason for that you want to expose the product to oxygen and air as little as possible so it makes sense especially with something like pericone that costs quite a lot of money and i'll put all the prices down below that if money is no object you put it into a small tube and then obviously what you do is you squeeze out the amount you need there you go that one had separated as a brand new tube and that's very interesting if you look at that it came out originally as a water and then turned into a cream now that's an oil-based one that's a palm oil based one so it's very oily very moisturizing it's brilliant for dry skin i even like the smell of it actually um so, oh, i don't know why but it smells slightly gingery but i quite like the smell of it but you can tell it's an active ingredient smell it's not perfumed and you get a series of little tubes in a box because by the time you get to the bottom you can open up a fresh one and it won't have oxidized for you that's a vitamin siesta 15 percent my cat going to meow all the way through this another story i'll tell you we've got builders in next door so he's just come home i have to wait till the builders go oh my darling sorry about that i just had to let him out i didn't realize the door had shut my cats are allowed to go anywhere they want in the house so the minute a door is shut they have to go through it even if they don't want to be on the other side does that make sense um regular followers will know i've lost one of my cats he went missing about six weeks ago when the builders moved in two doors down and um, I think he's gone into the back of one of the vans and been driven off somewhere because they're just so, so nosy and they just can't resist. Anyway, this is by the by. So it's gone dark, the builders have gone home and he's come home and he wants a cuddle and I'm filming, which is naughty of me. Um, but I've been promising this video for a while now. So that's the Pericone Ester, Vitamin C Ester 15%. So we're going from 10% to 15%. Um, I'm going to choose one of my favourite serums now, which is the uh, SkinCeutical CE Ferulic, which is vitamin C, along with other vitamins, at 15%. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen one new, you'll have seen it pictured like this, but it comes totally sealed with a dropper, and it comes in a dark bottle, and you break open the seal, and the reason it does, again, is because vitamin C is highly unstable. Now, I would go through this, which is essentially a watery serum and delicious worn under makeup during the day and at night. I would essentially use this twice a day as a brightening serum. Um, and it's one of the rare ones that actually can be worn under makeup. Um, the dropper system is not ideal. I understand why it's in a dropper system. And that's why I would essentially use it morning and night because you want to go through it fairly quickly because essentially once that's opened, it's not really airtight. So it will start to oxidize but I'm a fan of SkinCeuticals, I do think they're great. So th this has got a triple anti antioxidant in it. So it's got 15% L-ascorbic acid, the key one, 1% alpha-tocopherol, 
vitamin E and a ferulic acid in there as well. So it's a sort of, it, that's specifically been formulated to be at a high level to protect you day and then to um, repair at night. In fact, you know what, before L'Oreal bought SkinCeuticals, they used to have a 20% and it was a brilliant product. SkinCeuticals, please bring it back. So droppers aren't ideal, but they are practical. Let's go on to another one now. Going up, uh, actually, let's go to this one because I think this is 23%, isn't it? No, it's 25%. Indeed, talking about high street products, this is indeed vitamin C 24, 24% vitamin C. Again, this is what I mean by a silicon base. This is a really rich, velvety, slippery serum. I personally don't think you can use them under makeup. I really don't. You'll put your makeup on and then you'll start to blend and it'll start coming off. But then at 24% it should be being used at night anyway. And actually this is brilliant value for money and it's a great little product. And it's a nice product to use. It's completely stable. It's in an opaque um, airtight container. Um, and it's a nice one if you've got quite dry skin. It Again, you have to like that feeling of silicon to like it because it's a silicon based product which means that it sort of forms a barrier between you and the outside world and then the vitamin C goes to work. Really good value for money. Going up, um, actually 23% going down slightly. I've, I've spoken about this before. This is the ordinary vitamin C, 23% plus hyaluronic acid spheres. Um, between you and me, these companies battle it out endlessly to try and reformulate a product. And I'm sure the only reason they put that in at 24% was to try and beat that at 23%. There's history between these brands. Um, I love this product, but it, it's like Marmite, okay? In fact, vitamin C is like Marmite. A lot of these products, you're gonna, start, you're gonna see a warning saying, this product will tingle. They will tingle. I mean, and it's a serious tingle. The first time I used this, I stuck it all over my face, including around my eyes, because the area I want to treat is around my eyes, where I've got crepiness, and I couldn't sleep for two hours. Tingle, stroke, burning, I mean, to say it's politely, to politely call it a tingle is okay, but this is a seriously powerful product. And I know a lot of people that have come in rashes on their necks and chest, you'll be more sensitized on your neck and round your nose than you will be on parts of your face because the skin is thinner here. Um, but I really like it. It's very gritty. It's in squalene, and squalene is a really rich moisturizer that's derived from olive oil. So some of them are such good value for money. It's under a fiver. And I think if you've got pigmentation and you're on a budget, this is your first port, port of call. But it, it's Marmite. It's gritty, it's greasy, it's not pleasant to use. It says on the website you can use it during the day. Well, you've got to be mad to use this during the day. What sort of effect you're going to get with your moisturizer and your serum and your makeup on top of this? beggar's belief quite frankly it's a night product trust me i personally think as i said over 10 percent vitamin c is best used at night now moving up i do like ula henriksen products i think they're lovely and what's interesting about ula henriksen is uh he's an incredibly smart intelligent very charismatic man a facialist actually uh a therapist that works out of la and has got a beautiful spa there and he's very cleverly you see again what i love about vitamin c it always comes in this interesting packaging you get a box of power bright and it's a three step treatment so you've got a scrub you've got a vitamin c serum and then you've got a cleanser and you basically pop it open i've dropped it excuse me you pop it open and then you break each one because the minute you break it you release the active ingredient I don't really see, honestly, I mean, I love the idea of this because it's like a little DIY at home facial. I don't really see the point in putting vitamin C in a scrub or in a cleanser because it's not gonna stay on your face long enough to really make a difference. But I love the idea of a three-step treatment. So you've got a scrub, then you've got the vitamin C serum, which he says you then cleanse off. I wouldn't, <laughs> I would do the opposite. I would cleanse, so I would three, then I would scrub, or I would scrub, then I would cleanse, either way. Then I would put the serum on and I'd leave it on overnight. Certainly as long as possible, but be prepared to tingle. This is a powerful product. This is vitamin C at 25%. We're going up. I've got my current skin crush, which is DCL. DCL is a brand new range available at Space NK in the UK. And this is Seascape High Potency, 30% uh, vitamin C. And this is what I've now moved on to tonight, at night. It's it's gritty. 
The reason is, is because the vitamin C is in a powdered, encapsulated powder form that you break on your skin and as you apply it, again, an airtight pump, so completely brilliant. There you go. So, you put it on your skin and you'll feel the grit. You can feel it. Again, it's a rich, moisturising, gritty serum cream. And they've made that one smell of oranges is kind of how you always expect vitamin C to smell and it's a much more sophisticated expensive version of the ordinary um, and it's the most powerful vitamin C serum that I found at the moment it's at 30% and it comes from a range of dermatologists and they've put a lot of money into it it stands for dermatologists cosmetic laboratory laboratories yes um, and I'm really impressed by the products that I've used from this range so far and I think this is a great little product um, but it's a money is no object product boy does it tingle but great results you really can see your skin begin to brighten after about two or three uh, weeks of use and when I say brighten I don't mean lighten this isn't bleaching your skin it's basically getting rid of the sun damage so that your skin becomes brighter and more luminous and more radiant which is what most people want but you will see a lightening of specific pigmentation patches at that strength and that's what vitamin C does it's essential for the formation of collagen so it will plump and firm the skin but mainly it's about brightening skin. It has the ability to regulate the production of melanin in the skin, which is the pigment in the skin. And I'm going to end on a high street note that I think is super exciting because there was a time 15 years ago when vitamin C was incredibly fashionable and a company called Helena Rubenstein, who I'm sure some of you remember, used to be able to break open and blend vitamin C at varying strengths on counter. So you would go and have your serum mixed on counter, the vitamin C powder would be put into it, it would be shaken up and then it would have a sell by date or a use by date on it. Well, Clinique have brought one out. It's 10% because 10% is a safe percentage for most people to use. You're not, it'll tingle a little, you're not going to get a reaction, you're not going to go red. Clinique will always err on the side of caution because they don't want in any way to irritate their um, customer's skin. So it's a really clever two-step process. There's a little capsule which looks like a vitamin capsule but it's not. It's a little sachet of cleansing powder that you prep your skin with, skin with first and it does have low levels of vitamin C in it but it's basically a powder that, and I love cleansing powders um, that you this would be so brilliant to travel with. So basically you cleanse your skin with that powder in a sachet and then you take the top off here like this you depress that button there and the vitamin C mixes into this and then you shake it for 15 seconds. Can you hear that? And then what happens is you end up with an oil and you use one or two or three drops and it's been specifically formulated to mix into your everyday serum, to your other Clinique products, to your moisturiser. So there's two ways of using it. If you're naughty like me, you get a little drop out and you put it neat onto freshly cleansed skin, onto a problem area, an area of pigmentation. Clinique say two or three drops in the palm of your hand, mix with your serum or your um, daily moisturizer or nightly moisturizer and you apply it that way and they recommend it being used all over your face and the clinicals are excellent on it. They're seeing a sort of 20% reduction in the appearance of age spots and sun damage and that's quite impressive i absolutely love this packaging it sort of comes on from the sort of pep star clever slightly disruptive skincare the clinique are doing now that is purely about problem solving and i'm sure it's a reaction to companies like indeed and the ordinary which are very clever um, but i like that it's widely available and this is the one that i'm currently trialing and actually i'm trialing it on my chest where i have the most sun damage and so far i've been very impressed they say it's seven days intensive treatment. I've actually found that this has lasted slightly longer, but there are only seven of the little cleansing packages in there. But I'm, uh, I'm impressed and I'd be really interested to see what you think about this. Um, uh, I just love the idea of a big skincare giant. One, being honest about percentages that are in their products, which is important for things like retinol and vitamin C. And two, being slightly disruptive sort of joining in with the beauty rebels, which are companies like The Ordinary Indeed are part of. Um, and that 
that's my take on vitamin C and I really hope it's helped. It even skin tones, it firms skin, it boosts collagen production, but more importantly, it normalizes the production of melanin. So you will see your skin become brighter, more even toned and age spots and sun damage going down over time. These things won't work overnight. Be prepared for the tingle. Start at 10%. If you've got sensitive skin, work your way up to 30%. If you're serious about your skin aging and your pigmentation, you could go straight in at rate 22, 23 and above percent. It's going to tingle, it's going to feel slightly gritty. It's not going to be a light, easily absorbed, watery solution. It's just not. Oh, it's I hope that answers all your questions about vitamin C. I feel like at this point I should be juggling oranges. Any oh. questions, ask me below. That's what I'm here for. I honestly believe that by sharing information and advice, we can all become the beauty know-it-all. Thank you for subscribing and I'll see you soon.